following is a presentation of Main Street Media, your source for news, sports, and information on Main Street in Middle Tennessee. Welcome in, everybody. It is New Stuff Tuesday. I'm so glad you're here. And our peeps, we got our peeps. They're already in the house. Elizabeth already welcoming people to the classroom. Uh, oh, my goodness. And Suzanne and Mark down in Alabama. And we've got Brenda Scott who just joined us. We are so excited that you're all here. This is an interactive show if you joined us for the first time. New Stuff Tuesday. We talk about all the new stuff in town. We've got a debut of an uh, of an incredible video I cannot wait to share with you from Lisa Daggs called You Are Enough. We're going to debut. I'm watching my time here because at 11.11, we're going live with that video right here. And well, I'm going to ask you to share this video. I'm going to ask you to share the song. Tomorrow, we're going to talk to Lisa on the show live. But first, we're going to go to the Homestead Festival coming to Columbia, Tennessee at Rory Feeks Farm in June the third and fourth, and it's got all sorts of folks. And he's doing these wonderful videos, wonderful videos called Flogs leading up to it. Let's see what's happening and who is opening for Kevin Costner. Let's see, where are we today? We have sold 1,329 tickets to the Homestead Festival, so 15 more tickets than yesterday. We are five flogs into our 30 days of a daily flog as we get ready for the festival. Yesterday was Mother's Day. I hope everyone had a wonderful Mother's Day. We had as good of one as you could have, considering. We have had a busy weekend here at the farm. We had an event on Friday night with Bob Goff, which we'll talk about another time. And we also had concerts this weekend. I played on Saturday night and it was amazing. I only play one Saturday a month and not even every month right now. So it's only 10 concerts this year. And every time I do, it reminds me how blessed we are to not only have a concert hall here on our farm, but have all these friends who work with us to help make it happen. Now, when we started putting together the lineup for music at the Homestead Festival, I never had any plans to be part of it. I thought it would be fun just to help put it all together and celebrate all these other artists that are out there. But here in the last couple of weeks, everybody else on our team had a different idea. We went around to each one of them and asked, who do you think should be Kevin Costner's opening act here at the Homestead Festival? And surprisingly, they all said, uh, definitely you. Are you really asking me that? I mean, seriously, they're coming to your place. You should be opening for Kevin Costner. You're gonna do it, right? Who should open for Kevin? Well, Mr. Feek, of course. You want Roy to play at the Homestead Festival? Huh? Oh, yeah. Mm, Alabama. But since we can't afford them, I guess you should do it. You're not gonna charge us, are you? Who should open for Kevin Costner? Let's see, there's one person in this room who's not on the schedule who needs to be, that everybody's coming to see, and there's one open slot on the schedule, and his name... You should Papa! Hey, Papa, who's Kevin Costner? So it turns out I'm gonna be playing right before Kevin Costner on Saturday, June 4th, which is a little frightening and also pretty exciting. As we're sharing these daily vlogs about the festival, one of the things that's been important is trying to capture some things that are happening here at the farm as they're happening and sharing them with you. And so Saturday night, 
My nephew Michael, who's right there, he's very, very tall. We sent him around with a camera and said, what if you try and capture the whole event just in snippets? And he filmed all afternoon, all evening, till late at night, till they actually shut everything down and Indiana and I were at the farmhouse in bed. And he started putting it together and he only got about a third of the way through and he said it was so good, he couldn't get any farther. And so we looked at it this morning and he's right, he did an amazing job. So this is our concert on Saturday night, cut down to about three and a half minutes till the concert started. Make sure you wait around till the end. I got a very special artist on stage with me singing. At this point, I think that Kevin Costner would be worried that he would have to follow that. <laughs> 
Thank you guys for weighing in. It is time to debut Lisa Dagg's brand new video, 1111. It's an angelic number and angelic time. And may God put his hand on this song. And I know that if you're listening, if you know, you know. They don't know just who you are They see the lines, the tracks, the scars But that won't tell them who you are You've walked through pain Don't you know you're more than shame God sees you and He knows your name He made you just the way you are You're stronger than you know And weaker than you show You struggle lady in the pew Everyone looks up to you But they don't hear your secret tears You cry when no one else is near Hasn't it become too Keeping up your guard You hide away your broken heart From those who love you as you are You're strong Y'all, I might just do the ugly cry. That song, whoo, Lisa Daggs, uh, thank you for letting me be a part of that song and your message that you have given. If you guys follow her tomorrow, she's going to be on our show with us. And I was so grateful to be a part of that project. If you are struggling, we have some wonderful friends and partners on this show. Um, and we want to share some of those with you right now. Uh, there are some some really great people that have partnered with us to give help to people, and one of them is Brooks Healy. Healing from substance abuse can be a lonely journey. 
but you don't have to do it all on your own. At Brooks Healing Center, you matter. We're here to lend you love, support, and acceptance on your journey to find yourself again. With medical detox, residential, and partial hospitalization program levels of care, we help you overcome addiction, trauma, and adverse childhood experiences through personalized healing journeys. Our seasoned team of heart-centered staff is here for you with support, compassion, and hope. At Brooks Healing Center, we'll love you until you fall in love with everything you are. T.G. Shepard here. And Kelly Lang. Once again, Kelly and I have the honor of hosting Country for a Cause. And as always, it takes place this year at 3rd and Lindsley on June the 8th at 7 p.m. We're always so honored to be able to do this. We have an incredible guest list this year. Yes, we do. People performing. Uh, tell them who's going to be on, Kelly. <laughs> well, we're hosting it. And we have a lot of help from our good friend, Devin O'Day, in between acts. I'm so grateful for her. Let me say ahead of time that this is sponsored by our dear friends, Gus Arendelle at Springer Mountain Farms Chickens. We are so Country happy to have Country music's them. greatest supporter, Yes, Gus. they are. The people on our show yeah. so far, John Barry, T. Graham Brown, John Ford Coley. Oh, I love John. The Isaacs, Richard Lynch, Wendy Moten, John Rich, Riders in the Sky, Twitty and Lynn, Rhonda Vincent, Michelle Wright, and Billy Yates. We hope to see you at 3rd and Lindsley for Country for a Cause, June the 8th at 7 p.m. See you there. I can't wait for that show. Gosh, what a lineup. Everybody's talking about it. 3rd and Lindsley, and it's going to be raising money for the Monroe Carroll Children's Hospital, and it's going to be fantastic over there at Vanderbilt. A win-win for everybody. Great music, great lineup, good chicken. Thank you, Gus, and a great cause all at one place. It is New Stuff Tuesday, and there is something new at the Nashville Zoo. What's new at the zoo with Jim Bartu? We're going to find out from him in a couple of weeks, but we have our own report because Justin Kulik and I, along with our friend Delilah, we all went and explored just on our own, we just all went to Night Visions, and it was incredible. Looked a little bit like this. Yes, we love nighttime at the zoo. It is just such a different atmosphere, such a whole different vibe with your friends and family. And we have Night Visions that started last week, and it will be here till the end of July. And Night Visions, we describe it as a like a mind-bending, dreamlike experience. It's kind of your experiencing different light shows paired with unique music and just something like you've never seen before. And most of our animals are in their nighttime quarters and they're sleeping for the evening. However, we do have our flamingos that will be out for the duration of the event the entire time it's running. And we also have our Unseen New World exhibit, which is home to our like reptiles, amphibians, uh, some mammals that will be open about an hour into the time of night visions. We start about 7.15, 7.30, and it ends about 10.30, but it will get even later into July. We'll stay open until about 11, 11.30. We do have adult beverages. We have beverage carts along the path as guests are strolling, checking out all those cool night shows or night scenes. You can get beer, margarita, and some seltzers and just have a good time. <laughs> we have our food carts open, available for snacks like pretzels and popcorn, and we do have our dining options available as well. So admission to Night Visions is $19 for kiddos and $23 for teens and adults. And a big thank you to Justin Kulik for putting together that story because I was too amazed at everything and I got lost five or six times. I will tell you, I have no sense of direction, but I took the young folk with me. Uh, Justin and Delilah uh, helped me get back to where I needed to be. <laughs> I said they were driving Miss Devin. So y'all, Night Visions is incredible. The Nashville Zoo. And don't forget the homesteadfestival.com to get your tickets. We're going to keep you up. 5,000 tickets. That's the cutoff. 
They cannot sell any more than that. So if you want tickets on June 3rd and 4th to go see the amazing thing down at Rory Feeks Farm, two days, one ticket. 5,000 only will be sold and they're almost to the halfway point and it's three weeks away. So just saying, uh, you know what? We talk a lot about farms around here and farm credit mid America are, they're doing great things to help our farmers, including some of the rural areas around middle Tennessee. It's really incredible. I want to be climate sensitive and I think most farmers do. Most people do. I'm John Harrison, owner of Sweetwater Valley Farm. All of life depends on the top six inches of the soil. My name is Alexander Young, and I'm the sixth generation uh, farming row crops in southwestern Kentucky and Christian County. We just have to farm in a way that allows the biology in the soil to flourish. Our soil is our largest resource, and we have to protect it. Have to. I'm Mike Beam. I'm Joe Beam, and our farm is Beam Springs. I do this for the challenge, I do this for the desire, and I do this for, for human health. We are sequestering carbon and we are eliminating the release of CO2 into the atmosphere. I don't know how you can get any better for the, for the environment. Rick Clark, Clark Land and Cattle, fifth generation from West Central Indiana. Anytime that we can take carbon from the atmosphere and put it in our soils, that's a good thing for farming and it ends up being a good thing for the environment. You're taking care of the crop and you're affecting the soil, but the fact that it touches the entire ecosystem is amazing to me. It's an entire chain that leads back to, as I said, back to the top six inches of earth. And now you've got this fuel, the food for the corn, the fuel and the food for the microbes. It's all being done right here. This is exactly what building soil health is all about. This is the epitome of farming green and regenerative organic stewardship. So what my goal has been is to educate and basically just be transparent. What we do, why we do it. I mean, we're basically in the energy business. We're growing energy to produce food. That's what we're doing, and food's energy. So we've been in the energy business. That first dairy is out there trying to be carbon neutral. Most farmers want to leave the farm as well or better than they found it. So I think we've been doing that for a long time. I'm making a difference for the world by producing food in a responsible way. It is amazing to see the family legacy of stewardship and responsible production of food and know that we are not just maintaining things for a future generation, but we're actually improving our farm and our land for future generations. An incredible organization, e-farmcredit.com. If you've got some information and you want to know a little bit more about maybe getting a little bit more simple as far as how you take care of the land, maybe you just go, you know what? I'm tired of the rat race. I'm getting off the wheel. Get in touch with the people at Farm Credit Mid-America. They are partners on our show, and I love being able to share them with you. Hey, I also love being to share This is New Stuff Tuesday. There's a new movie coming. Are you Star Wars fans? I'm doing this just for Justin Kulik. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yeah, brand new. They're coming stay hidden or we will not survive leave us alone when the time comes he must be trained like you trained his father you still want Kenobi he's gone You've been looking in the wrong places. I want every lowlife and bounty hunter to squeeze him. You can't run, Obi Wan! You can't escape him!
and you don't even have to go to a theater if you have Disney Plus. Disney Plus streaming starting May 25th. That is coming. Obi-Wan Kenobi. And I'm sending that out to Justin Kulik because I know he is a big fan. If you're like, may the fourth be with you. If you know what that means, <laughs> you probably want to see that coming to Disney Plus and coming to Prime, Amazon Prime, Prime Video. We've got something brand new too. It's a show called The Summer I Turned Pretty. And if we are little boys and little girls, we all know that there is that summer when things change and everybody gets back to school that first day. And all of a sudden, wow, they not the same person that they were before the summer. <laughs> That's what this show is about. I thought this summer was going to be like all the other summers. But it's not because I won't let it be. I like you better with glasses. Too bad. I like me better without them. One, two, Prime Video, Amazon Prime. It's a good reason to have Prime. My mind is my reason is that I just plain old just don't go shopping anymore. I just have things delivered to my house. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, you know what? It just nobody pays me to go and do my shopping. So I had it's I I said I'm just gonna carve out a little time in my day. Now, some people need to have the experience of shopping. That's fine. I don't need to give myself that experience because I might have a problem. So I let my fingers do the walk and I get my one thing I need and have it delivered. <laughs> so that's why Prime helps me and also the good programming that comes along with it. We're going to close with Mark Elliott, his song called Hear Your Voice. It was his last single. He's got a brand new single coming in June, the same weekend that Rory Feek and the Homestead Festival starts June 3rd and 4th. He'll be releasing a brand new single. This is his last one called hear your voice. Be safe, everybody. Be kind. And remember, most of all, you are loved. That telephone saying, Do I pick it up and let it go after all these years? To hell if I know. I wanna hear your words, wanna hear your words. I remember when they were the sweetest thing I ever heard. What you hear right now, like you were back then. Something I know so well It almost sounds like you're coming back You'd think by now I'd know better than that I wanna hear your words Wanna feel your words I remember when they were The sweetest things I ever heard What you hear right now Like you were back then